Hello, my name is Matthew, and this is Work on a Superyacht. Work on a Superyacht. Move up through the ranks and maximise your potential. Today, I wanted to kick off a series about typical deckhand duties so as to give you a better understanding of exactly what to expect when you get your first job. At first, this may seem somewhat pointless. After all, how hard can it be to wash and polish? But, like all things yachting, these seemingly basic tasks have become somewhat of a science. First up is washing down. You'll be doing plenty of that. Why didn't they call it washing up, washing across, or just washing? I don't know. Maybe no one does. Whatever the case, let's get out of the office and see what it's all about. OK, so here we are on the port side main deck. The rest of the boat's been washed, so it's just this side deck left to do. The aim of the game is efficiency, so we want to keep the area tidy, and we want to go about things in a very methodical way. OK, so there's four stages to this. First, we rinse to get rid of any loose dirt or dust that might be on the surface already. Then we wash really thoroughly. Then we give a good rinse, get rid of all the soap. And finally, we dry it all off. When you're working with a big area, you want to break it down into smaller sections because otherwise you run the risk of water or soap drying on the surfaces. This is particularly bad when you're working in direct sunlight and you've got surfaces like glass or dark painted surfaces which absorb the heat. They then cook the water or the soap onto the surface and they produce a lot of water marks which are hard to get off. More than that, the glass and the dark surfaces show up the water marks really well. So for a section like this, I'm going to start with the deck heads. Then I'm going to do the inboard sides and then the outboard sides. And yes, that bit is called a deckhead, not a ceiling. I'm going to need soap, bucket, hose, mitt, and a sheep. No, I don't know either. It's a bit about lamb's wool. And the sheep's going to be connected to this shore hole pole. These are great, they've got loads of different attachments and they're extendable. Okay, let's get into it. I'm going to leave you here on the step, I'm going to wash the deck head. So that's the deck head washed and rinsed. Now we've got to dry it up. For that, I'm going to need water blade with attachment for the shoe hold pole, chamois, and of course, bucket, clean, fresh water. Okay, let's get into it. That's it, we're all dried up. Move my drying gear out of the way. Don't want to get that soapy because otherwise when I dry next time it's going to leave streaks all over the place. And now crack on with the next section. Inboards, rinse them, wash them, rinse them, dry them. You get the picture, let's do it. So that's the inboard side done. You'll notice I'm only going halfway down. That's A, because I just want to do a small section and then get it dried up, and B, because by the time I get down there, you can't even see me. Lots of glass in this section, so to dry it up, 
gonna use this one. Typical window blade, you've probably seen your window cleaner using it. Very sharp though, lots of metal on it and some pretty nasty screws in here which I've taped up. Perfect for the windows, not great for the paint. Use this one for the paint, it's plastic, it's not going to do any damage and also because this is flexible, any undulations in the surface of the paint, which there often are even though you can't actually see them, this will dry them up really well. Okay, let's do it. all dried up. Don't want to go too crazy at the moment because of course when I do this outboard edge now a little bit of water might be splashed onto the other side but I can always dry that up afterwards. Outboard basically involves me washing this side but also the hull on the outer side. Got a nice long pole so I'm going to reach down as far as I can give it all a good clean. Let's do it. Outboards all rinsed, washed, rinsed. Just got to dry them now. Obviously, trying to clean and dry the hull, it's really quite difficult when you're in port like this. You've got a boat close on the other side. It's much easier when you're alongside a dock. Just stand on the dock, wash the boat, or get in the tender. For now, we do what we can. Let's get on and dry it. the outboard all dried up. To finish up, I'm going to do the deck. I need the deck squeegee, just like this one. Again, they do make metal variants of this, but plastic is much better. you just got to be careful. These can be quite brittle. If you push with them too hard, you'll end up snapping them. Goes on the end of the shore hold pole. Move the hose out of the way, give yourself plenty of space, and away you go. That's everything rinsed, washed and dried. But before you go, you want to do a last pass just to tidy up any of the loose ends. As always in yachting, the devil's in the detail. So any splashes, water that's gone in the scuppers now, all needs cleaning out. One last thing, any doors or lockers, make sure you open them and dry inside. Otherwise the water just pools there. Next time someone comes and opens it, a load of water just floods out. For any door hinges, scuppers, this dirty chamois used to be the same color as the other one not so much anymore anyway this is perfect just saves my good chamois for doing all the nice paint work stainless steel and glass finished up. It's nothing difficult here, you just need to work in a methodical manner, keep your area tidy and look out for the details as you go. hope this has given you some idea of exactly what to expect when you get out on deck and you're asked to wash down the boat. Every boat's different, some might have different quirks, different ways of doing things, but most of the tools that I've used here you'll find on most boats. I've still got the rest of this corridor to wash, but I look forward to seeing you in the next one. <laughs>